Hi guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to improve the performance of a Python program just by choosing which data structure to use in a particular scenario. Now, the scenario that I have taken up is like this. We have two files, one is file1.txt, the other one is file2.txt. Now the file1.txt contains some dummy words and the total number of words that this particular file contains is like 700,000. Now in the file2.txt we have some 350,000 records and 350,000 words. Now I want to check whether each and every word or each and every uh, value in this particular file occurs in this file at least once. Now to do that I'm going to write a Python code. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the contents of the file as a list. Let's start writing. Now what this, what this method does is, it actually opens the file that you pass it as an input and it reads all the lines and what this function does is, it reads all the lines and converts it into a list and just returns it. Now I am going to pass the files into this function and get the contents of the files as a list. Now file 1 will be our left file and our right file will be file 2. So what we should do now is like we need to check whether the values in this file 2 is available in this file 1. Now remember this particular line here converts the contents of the file as a list that means each and every line in the file will be a list value. Now we have two lists here, one is left and the other one is right. Now we are going to iterate over the list or the right list and see whether that particular value is available in the left list. If it is available, we are going to just increment the counter and we will print it at the last. Now we are going to time this particular program. So I am going to import a time module that Python supports and I will start the timer here and we will print the total time taken. Okay, now we have the code in place. Now let's just run this code and see how much time it takes. Remember, we are using the list data structure here because this particular line here, read lines, converts each and every line into a value in a list. So the return value will be a list containing the lines as its values. 
so now let's ju let's just run this code and see the performance okay now I have the file compare here now I have started running it and you can clearly see it is taking some time let me just pause this video and we can see how much time it took later now we can clearly see that the program is so slow it has not ended still and it is running for a long time now I'm going to stop this program here and let's just analyze why the program is so slow while we use list as our data structure for this particular scenario now say we have a list of elements from 1 to 10 now say we want to find element 3 in this list how list searches for this element is by using a technique called as a linear search now it looks for the first element and checks whether if it is 3 if not it skips to the next element and sees if it is 3 and so on until the end of the list and if it finds a 3 it returns true if not it returns a false and that's what is happening here for each element in the right list we are looking for its availability in the left list if it is available then this if statement will return true and if it is not available it will return false now say we have n elements in a list and the total time taken to search an element in a list of n elements is represented as big O of n and this is the total time taken or time complexity in a uh, list total time taken to search a value in a list now this is the worst case time complexity and the best case time complexity is big O of 1 since the element can be the first value in which case it will be big O of 1 and in worst case the element can be a last value that is the nth value and in that case it is big O of n so in general the time complexity for a linear search is represented as big O of n now in our case we are searching m elements that is a list of m elements in a list of n elements in that case the time complexity will be big O of m into n so in our case the time complexity will be like this big O of see, big O of uh, almost like 350,000 records into 700,000 records now you can clearly see that is so huge and it is going to take a very huge time so we can clearly see that linear search doesn't suffice our needs of performance so we have to somehow improve the performance of our code now to actually quickly return the results now how to do that let's see how to do that in the next video thanks guys have a great day